Well, good afternoon. I'm excited to be here with Marcia Warren Edelman. Uh, she is going to be a part of our conference in Leche in June as one of our presenters. And I met you ever so briefly in Santa Fe, New Mexico, about a year and a half ago, which is where you actually are from. Mm -hmm. So tell everybody a little bit about your background, where you're from, and how you got into the work that you're doing. Oh, so good to be here. Thank you so much, Kirk, for doing this with me today. I'm really excited to, to see you again in Italy and meet new people. Hopefully this gathering is going to be a wonderful, wonderful learning and uh, personal experience for everyone. Um, as you said, I'm from Santa Fe, New Mexico. Um, I was born and raised there. Uh, however, I come from a number of different cultural backgrounds, um, which is both personally and professionally super important for me to, uh, to share with everyone. Um, on my father's side, I'm a member of Santa Clara Pueblo, which is north of Santa Fe, about half an hour. And I grew up going back and forth, uh, visiting relatives and taking part in traditional activities while I was growing up. Um, and on my mom's side, um, she's from Brazil. And she was, as she puts it, kind of an accidental immigrant. She meant to come and teach in the States for a couple of years and then go back. And then she met my dad in all, of all places, Lincoln, Nebraska, where they were both oh, professors. Wow. I know. And so she ended up staying. Um, but as a part of that experience, she took me and my brother back pretty much every year or two uh, for a couple months at a time. And so I was deeply immersed in both cultures as I was growing up, as well as the Santa Fe, the culture of Santa Fe, which is quite different from the, from the rest of the United States. So, you know, as a result, what that did is that instilled in me a great desire to learn about cultures, but not just on the outside, but a little bit on the inside too, because I, you know, I was going in between them so often. So a lot of my educational and professional life was in search of kind of the ultimate degree or the ultimate job that blended, you know, um, culture, identity, um, race, personal exploration, um, diversity as we call it now, right? You know, um, but I came across, you know, a few degree programs, but uh, really what, what stuck with me was the experience I had at the, Summer Institute for Intercultural Communication. Mm. Um, and then my most recent educational experience was uh, becoming a somatic counselor. So really learning how to go through the process of self-discovery, but working with clients to do the same and achieving health and wellness and personal growth. So you're not just a facilitator, educator uh, of multiculturalism. You actually live it on a daily basis by your whole DNA. I mean, everything about you is multicultural. and. Absolutely. It's beautiful that that's the work that you've kind of, it's kind of become your heart's desire is to, is to do that work. Mm -hmm. So let's talk just for a minute about the, the content you want to bring to our experience in June in Lecce. Um, let's talk about who is it for? Who would you like to see sitting in the, in the workshop that you're going to be presenting? Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's, it's interesting. I've thought about that question. You know, we have that question so often in terms of thinking outwardly of the work that we do, you know, who's our audience? And I want to answer that kind of in a different way is that, you know, what I noticed at the Summer Institute in particular, you know, is that there's the type of person that comes seeking two things. One is connection with others that are similar to themselves. And another person, sometimes they're the same person, that's looking for different skills in order to walk the world that they live in, whether that's personal or professional. Um, so I was really, you know, given a chance to explore, you know, working with people of both those persuasions in my one day workshop at the Winter Institute in Santa Fe. And I really believe that people are at a point now where they don't just want the book learning, they want the personal connection and they want to really learn about themselves so that they can then see that in other people. So I think the short answer to your question is that um, what I'm hoping is that my, that our conference in general, the workshops in general, but mine in particular, will attract people that are curious about themselves, the strengths that they have, as well as the challenges of being multicultural in a multicultural world. And uh, they want to be curious about how to develop new skills that they can take with them in every walk of life. Well, you mentioned uh, people that are looking for connection. Mm -hmm. And I always like to reference back to this. When, when Laurie and Antimo and I sat down and really started to lay out the foundation of our why, why we're doing this conference, five key pillars you know, came to light. We talked the first and foremost about vulnerability, which I think is critical to really almost any endeavor. You have to be willing to be vulnerable. And then That's story. Mm -hmm. uh, story is kind of what connects us. And the third one is connection. We want people to experience a sense of connectedness. And as a result of those three, we hope that we see transformation and then yeah. from transformation, the fifth pillar is growth. And that's, that's kind of, it's really beautiful to hear you talk about 
who you're hoping to have in, in, in as part of your uh, conversation, I suspect it will be in mm -hmm. uh, Leche. So tell me about, tell me about outcomes. And I know that's kind of a, I'm not necessarily looking for measurables, but when somebody walks away from their experience with you, mm -hmm. uh, what is the change you'd like to see affected on them in their lives or their practice or their work or, or uh, um, how they express themselves maybe differently as a result of being part of, and I have a little insight because you shared it with me about <laughs> uh, kind of some exciting content pieces that you're going to have as part of your little workshop in, in Lecce. So uh, yeah, absolutely. What, what change do you want to see uh, people experience as a result of being a part of this? You know, the change that I want to see is actually kind of built into the three day workshop. I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, as I've been playing around with the formatting of the three days, really simplicity came to mind. I wanted something that wasn't going to be too hard for people to like take with them in their new toolbox, as I like to put it. Mm -hmm. So really I'm, I'm formatting it around what I'm calling the ABCs. So the first day I want to talk about awareness. And since I am a somatic therapist, and that means a body centered psychotherapist, I'm really all about sensation uh, and, and how that's linked to emotions, memories, stories, and not just what we're feeling in our bodies, but what the environment provides to us as well. So the first day is really gonna be about kind of flexing that muscle of awareness, nonverbal communication, you know, how do we interact with the world, right? And so I'm not gonna give away any little tidbits because I already <laughs> talked to you about it, but we are gonna get out of the room. Let me just put it that way. We're not gonna be stuck in a room. We're gonna go kind of, you know, flex those muscles in other ways and with each other, right? And so the next day, which is gonna be sort of our B day, is about beliefs and behavior. So how does, that, how does the awareness that we've started to, started to explore, you know, tie into our beliefs about ourselves, our identities, about others, you know, and then how does it affect our behavior, right? And we'll talk a little bit about the science behind that, you know, implicit bias is part of that, what happens neuro, you know, in our brains, the neuroscience of it, um, and the nervous system reactions. I'm also trauma trained as a therapist. So what that means is that, you know, a lot of times difference can mimic fear or danger. So we'll explore some of those things that our bodies do, right? And, and then just the as a side note, that's been a big part of your private practice in the past. Very right? much. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know, it, intergenerational trauma, historical trauma, um, you know, present day trauma, all those things, you know, how our bodies keep us safe sometimes gets overlooked in terms of how it affects our behaviors and our, our relationships with other people. So that's really important to touch on. Um, and I want to make a note here that for anyone who's considering going, this is not a therapy session, will not be a group therapy session. Okay, I just want to be really transparent about that. We will have some discussions around that. Um, but at no point will people be expected to go through a therapeutic process. Just want to give that disclaimer. Um, third day will be the C day, which is about change, right? But choices are part of the change. So I think, you know, in totality, what I'm hoping that day is going to be like is that I'll get to share with, with the folks my own research on what I call embodied code switching. So the ability to switch between your identities with fluidity, with awareness, with purpose, and also with choice. And that's the skill that I'm hoping people will take. So it's, it's really exciting. It's actually beautiful to hear you describe it in the way you did. And I'm so excited for the little piece that I know about the interactive component where mm -hmm. I, I think you really have an exciting three days plan for people who attend and are part of, of your workshop. Um, mm -hmm. Anything else you'd like to add about anticipation for this event in Italy? Uh, we're June 14th through the 19th in mm -hmm. Lecce, Italy, Southern Italy, a town that I've had the privilege of traveling to uh, mm -hmm. with Antimo in the past, and it's just a beautiful city uh, in Southern Italy. Anything you want to add as far as anticipation of, uh, of the experience? Yeah, I, you know, what I really encourage people to do is, you know, I know we hear this, this catchphrase all the time, thinking outside the box, right? Um, but it's not just an invitation to do that. I think there's, there's a real imperative right now um, for, you know, experiences like this to be interdisciplinary. I know we all get into our own fields, into our own research, into our own, you know, professions, but we have a lot to learn from each other. So if people are necessarily interested in my workshop, I really invite them to take a look at the other workshops, knowing that at the end, you know, there's going to be, you know, a day that we really integrate that. Um, I know that you all will probably speak more to that, but this is going to be, I think, a holistic experience that probably hasn't been seen quite in this way before. And I think I want to give a little shout out to the folks that might be interested in my workshop in terms of multicultural identity. I truly believe it is a superpower that the world needs right now. I know I sound really big when I say that, but you know, we need, you know, the kind of skills that people who have grown up between different cultures with different identities have just innately done. 
and it may have been pathologized in the past, but it's truly a strength. And that's what I'm hoping people are going to be able to see and take away from at least my workshop and hopefully the whole experience. Well, I can't think of a time. I mean, I, I've only been around for a little over half a century, but I can't think of a time in our world that needs that message more than it does now. And it seems like we're standing on the precipice of kind of strongly and radically leaning more towards that mm -hmm. strength, that superpower, or yeah. fearfully away from it. And um, I think we're at a, a seminal moment in history right now. I, well, I, agree. I can't, I can't <laughs> thank you enough for your time. I'm really looking forward to seeing you in, in Southern Italy. And I appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. And I really enjoy meeting you, talking with you again, and can't wait to meet everyone that's going to come in, in, in June. I know it's going to be a great gathering. So uh, looking forward to meeting people in person. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll talk soon. Okay.